we want to make people's lives better by utilizing the power of Cummins. And so, and infrastructure growth is a piece of that. Um, so you talk about we're involved in, in building roads and generating power in areas. Um, we were leaders in being in China and India, so we've been there you know, since the 60s, and so we're well established. But one example of what we're doing now is, is investing uh, in Africa. And we think Africa is an enormous opportunity uh, for the future, and it'll be, the, be a, the continent people are talking about 20 years from now where some rapid growth is coming. And so um, we see our, our sales grow into over a billion dollars there. Um, and so uh, it's happening all over the world. And, and we want to be a part of making the communities better where we work. So it's, it's part of our heritage. Um, and there's many examples through the, uh, through the company, but he, I, I'll just give one. Um, um, in India, we struggled, and one of our beliefs is that, that as we compete in a global environment, the people we compete with, we generally all uh, use the same tools, buy the same equipment, tech centers, processes. There's not many secrets out there. And it's really who can bring the better group of people together that does all those things a little better than the people you compete with. And so strategically, a couple things we try to do is one is we want to throw the, the widest net. And so no biases on hiring people. We want to recruit from anywhere, everywhere, the best in the world. Um, we want to bring those people in and, and develop them better than other folks do. We want to utilize them better. And my belief is most people are not fully utilized and so I, I, I look to myself and I've been involved in projects and excited and getting things done and say what if every day was like that for all 50,000 employees that they felt utilized, um, developed, uh, cared for and so a piece of that and one of those things we do is we say we also want to improve the communities in which you work and we think by doing that the, the people with the values and want those opportunities will, will prefer to come work here versus someplace else. So it's part of the whole, the whole system we're putting together that it's not, a, uh, it's not an option if you're a leader at this company, that you have to be able to bring people in, the best, diverse, utilize them, get them to work together and do that again a little better than the folks that are trying to do the same thing in, and that we can win in this. So it's a, it's a tougher challenge. It's, so it's not a, you don't direct people what to do. You actually, uh, we tell them we want people to, to um, operate like you own the company. So I'm sitting here and the person that's repairing an engine out there, if they own the company, what would they do? And what's the extra things they would do? And so that's, what, that's the challenge we give leaders, is that you know, you're not just delivering results, it's how you do it. And so if you want 50,000 people acting like owners, um, you better be very good at bringing the right people in and the people that are capable of operating that way. And I think, I think Craner is clearly a place that develops those skills, uh, the technical, the interpersonal, the communications, um, the values that we talk about, the global search that, that matches up very well.